we definitely have so much burning passion within all of us and we like express that so differently and like it comes together and it just like fuses together and like it splashes together and it's like beautiful it's like painting you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> myself a little bit and push my actors and make them try to become characters that were animals and um, just animal characters themselves have a different way of how you move on stage and so that different kind of movement was a big inspiration for um, dancing and choreography and so it just felt fit naturally on why this would be my first dance theater piece. I chose to do The Jungle Book because it's a family-friendly show a wider range of audience members could um, attend but it was something that boys and girls um, both equally enjoy. Um, it's a classic that people of generations have seen and heard about. So it's a famous title and that alone um, gets people to the theater. Uh, the audition process was a little different than usual. Um, it's a smaller department, so I was kind of familiar with the talent that we had. Um, so I wasn't really focused on acting ability per se, especially because it was a dance theater piece. Um, so I was focused more on their dancing ability, and I would cast it more so from there. And then I, as the director, could push them in the right direction um, for certain acting p things that I needed. Um, I wanted to see how they interpreted um, an animal in a human body. So I asked them to make different animal noises. A lot of it was sound effect making, but I taught um, a combination, um, a contemporary piece, and um, I just step them through it and then uh, I would ask for questions and then we dance it together, dance it in small groups. Really could see how they could put their personality into a few um, pieces of choreography, but it was also how they put mannerisms into these jungle beasts. I put in probably a whole week's worth of time writing the script and making edits and cuts um, and then probably less than that for creating the dances for the choreography because this is like my 11th show that I've choreographed so it's not something I'm necessarily new to um, but it, it still had to be precise it had to be very particular because the dancing was telling the story rather than it was just an expression of how they were feeling so that took me a lot of time but Obviously, as every production, the most time is directing and putting the show on its feet. And we had a month um, to do that and like, about a half a week um, for dress rehearsals. And then we had a two-week run of performances. You, you did do everything. Yeah. Practically. Um, so it's not very often that a student or just anybody gets an opportunity like this. Mm -hmm. And so just... Being, having the benefit at Black Hill State University of having a smaller department and just um, very, it's not very often that we have senior or junior theater students. So when I had um, the opportunity to do my practicum, um, I wanted to do a dance theater piece and Bert um, was all for it. Um, and obviously there's not very many dance theater pieces that you can just purchase online and then it just comes with choreography. It's just naturally that you yourself have to do a lot of that. So it was just a lot of how much ambition I had and how much I wanted to give of myself. But for my very first project, I was very blessed to have an opportunity like this. When I auditioned for the show, to be completely honest, I wasn't sure I was gonna be here. I just tried out a thing, because I'm not really, how do I say? I only did theater once before this, so it was like, okay, I'm just gonna try this, see if I can get it. Yeah. Actually, dancing is also my first time to be here. I never danced before, so I'm so nervous about that. But they teach it by they teach me a lot of times and very kindly. Um, when I saw the cast list, I was definitely ecstatic because a lot of the people were in my stagecraft and makeup class. 
So I was excited for that, but then a lot of the other people were also like international students, and also one of them was my cousin. So there was like a lot of diversity going on, and I really appreciate when you know a small school at BH does include like international student and diversify like a play or something like that. So I was definitely excited to see the cast list. I first heard from my friends, and they said this is kind of like a dance theater, and I love dance and. Uh, actually, we never uh, join this kind of theater in China, so it's really I'm really uh, like curious about it. And after I come here, I saw everyone are so kind. I think, oh yeah, that's the right choice. After I got casted, I was like ready to you know do my best and stuff like that. But the audition was definitely fun, so I think it was encouraging being in that like audition process. Yeah. And then go working towards the show, it was like so much passion. Like when I messed up, I felt like so bad because I wanted to do this so good. And I put, saw all the hard work that everybody was putting into it. So it was like something beautiful and I felt like I was a part of a family and everybody was just there doing their best. And I am so glad I was in this piece. I'm so glad partying here and dancing with them. So I'm Baloo. And essentially, I'm the weird, bubbly character that is kind of making fun for Mowgli because Bagheera keeps everything level. Uh -huh. So we're the caretakers, and I just try to spice things up, and I accidentally get us into trouble all the time. <laughs> okay. Um, I play Bagheera, the panther. Um, I am the first one to speak up for Mowgli when Shere Khan comes to take him away. And I become the very much mother figure between me and Baloo. He's very much the father figure that lets him do whatever he wants and I try to have a stern hand. I am exhausted, but I'm also kind of sad that it's our last public performance. But I'm really excited to perform for all the kids. I'm really excited for their reactions. Kids have, especially elementary kids, they have this energy about them where they get super overexcited about everything. And so I'm very, very ready to have them watch this show because it'll just be so much energy coming at us to give back to them and it'll just make the show so much better. So yeah, I do work with kids and I work with about 60 kids a night and we have a whole unit of about, I think 190 all together. But my 60 kids, just in my group are like living to see this show because they every night they're like when do we get to come see you like when is the show and i'm like not for a couple of weeks <laughs> and they're so excited and uh, they just are going to have a different energy and they all know the story and they love the story so it'll be different for them to see the dancing because i think they're going to be kind of like i'd like to say like memorized by it because <laughs> mesmerized sorry excuse me because it's just going to be so different so I'm, I've been in dance recitals before, but never with acting, and then I've done other acting shows, but not as much dancing, so I think it's such a perfect mix of both that it just makes the story so much better because you get like the different types of how people are portraying it, but it's so like unique to each person. I, don't, I love it, yeah. but this is the first one I've done. Um, so my like biggest role is Ka, the snake, and so I kind of like take Mowgli with like my hypnosis is that yeah hypnosis and I like show him how he came to be in the jungle and like his whole backstory and it's so intense and I love it um and then I'm also a wolf so that's always fun because I get to howl at the lights up there and <laughs> I get to hang out with so many cool people and then I'm a monkey and so I get to like steal Mowgli a second time and I don't know I'm just so many I don't know, it's just so fun playing so many different characters because then you get the feel for like every different aspect of like who you're playing. Yeah. It's so awesome, but I think Ka's my favorite. Yeah, I've, I've read the book. I actually, my parents used to read me the story of uh, the Jungle Book and they used to read me bits and pieces of the book. And so that's how I came to know the Jungle Book. And when I heard that you were choosing to write this and direct this, I was completely there for it. I was, <laughs> I was very excited. Okay, so my character is Tabaki, and he's a golden jackal, but he's absolutely mad. He's mad. He's absolutely bonkers. So his personality, I guess, is just very, he's got the attention span of like 
a goldfish. He's three, every three seconds, he's onto something different. Um, this show specifically has made me grow as an actor because it's teaching me to act more in movement. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not personally a dancer. I can dance and I know how to dance, but I'm not, I don't have a dancing background. And so learning all of these dances that have such intricate emotions and feelings tied to them has definitely enhanced my acting <laughs> style in yeah. putting more motion into the way I move, the way I present myself, the way I present my movements. Mm -hmm. I bruised my bone and like I was like out on crutches for like two who's on crutches for two days but I was like so excited to get back in this show so I definitely threw the crutches away and I'm back in this show and I feel like because of the love of the cast I yeah. definitely wanted to be in this show and it was so exciting yeah, like my first two nights are great I loved this cast I didn't know like anyone before this show and I just have felt so welcomed and I've just made so many friends and I'm just so glad that I got to be a part of this production like the whole cast is just so amazing and really truly diverse in so many ways and I'm just so glad I got to be a part of it plus being an international student you get to like working with a diverse cast like this you get to like share your culture their culture you learn different things so it was like one big diverse family <laughs>
to be able to showcase people what we've been working on and like I just love to get a connection with people you know and even though I can't see the audience super well I can just feel it you get to take that breath and then jump and it was just like so much fun to be able to like come together with like that many people that are so passionate about something and bring art to like a community and to other people